and the young scientist. And I started as one of you. My topic is mother in STEM, what a gene. Uh, though to be specific, it's uh, mothers in science. At the age of 18, I became a nursing science student, and I was single, vibrant, and very inquisitive, which made me to be enemies to a lot of people because they didn't understand me when I couldn't understand the why of most of the things where, like, you are a nurse, you are supposed to go to the dining hall, there are matrons and whatever. So all the sister and senior people will just have to wait like this. If they are 50, they will all have to enter and dish. And as a young student, I will have to wait. Later I said, that's not fair. It's long you have been eating. And when you go there, there is nothing. They say that's etiquette. So they started to say, there is this young woman. I think she's the problem. Then they will make sure that they allocate me to do most of the dirty and complicated things. I'm just trying to show that as long as you are in a woman, when you enter the field and you are focused, you know what you want, the challenge will not only be from men, but you'll find that most of the challenge will be from women themselves. Be you. Do not pretend. Because things which are killing a lot of women in science or making most of young women not to reach the ceiling of science, you'll find that a person will pretend and just do something which you don't even feel you want to do it. The moment you start to do what you really want to do, you'll find that you have already wasted a lot of time. Lift other people along. The moment you have a step, uh, when you are linking yourself with other people, make sure that you pull somebody. Because those people you are pulling along, they are the ones who are going to assist you. And if you are in the space where you can work with students, students are the best source of support. Do not uh, ignore your maternal role. No matter how busy you are, remember that you are still the mother. And still be a, the woman if you are married. Because some of the people you find that sometimes uh, when they are married and they are academia, they start to <coughs> undermine almost everybody, including the husband. Socialize responsibly. You shouldn't say now because I'm a woman in science, I need to be a, <coughs> live in isolation. The neighbors, you don't even communicate with them. Uh, you, you, people don't even know. They just see that woman passing. Great people. Uh, when you have free time, three hours sometimes, go to the stock fairs, go to wherever. In the process, you are learning a lot and you'll be doing research or whatever you are doing, which is contextual relevant to, to the people you are staying with. My name is Nobita Fawane. I'm a PhD student um, and I'm registered at the University of uh, KwaZulu Natal, Peter Marisbeck campus, but I'm an ARC uh, PDP student. For me, coming to seminars like this, it's actually a motivation because as a PhD student, you have a lot of struggles and challenges. So, especially when you come to places like this where there are women who have been in the same position. Um, that you are in, it inspires, it inspires you because you know as much as you are facing challenges right now, uh, in a few years time you will also be the same as those Hi, I'm Doni Mtunu and I'm currently doing my PhD at the Vatistrand University. My focus is on food security, agriculture and climate change and I am also the founding member of Black Women in Science. Africa Science Week is important because it's important to look at a problem not just from your own country's perspective, but to look at all kinds of problems from a whole continent kind of setup. 
and I think it's also very important because it's addressing issues such as uh, women in STEM, mothers in STEM, and these issues affect not just South Africans but also affects everybody that is in Africa. My take home from this convention is that I'm actually very motivated to actually continue doing my studies, continue finding a balance between being a mother, being a woman, being um, a, a scientist or rather when I decide to become a mother I'm more inspired to draw from these women that spoke today on how do they find that balance in being a mother and being also a wife and also building your academic career.